A shocking development in the case of Suzanne Morphew could lead to another dramatic turn of events nearly four years after the Colorado mom of two's disappearance. RadarOnline.com has learned an autopsy report confirmed her death was a homicide, revealing a deadly mix of powerful sedatives and an opioid painkiller was detected in her system. Suzanne vanished after going on a bike ride on Mother's Day back in 2020 and it wasn't until September. 2023 that her remains were finally found in Sawatch County when dental records and DNA were used to identify the missing woman. On Monday, the Colorado Bureau of Investigation labeled her death as a homicide by undetermined means in the setting of butorphanol, azaparone, and medetimidine intoxication, following a newly released autopsy report by the Chafee County Coroner's Office. Those drugs are often used as an animal tranquilizer. Barry Morphew, her husband, was formerly a prime suspect in her disappearance and was later arrested in 2021 on charges of murder after deliberation, tampering with physical evidence, and attempting to influence a public servant, but the charges were ultimately dropped. Authorities believe that he killed her on May 9 after discovering that she was having an affair amidst their troubled marriage. Text messages reviewed in the case seemingly indicated that both she and her husband were unfaithful before her disappearance. A judge dismissed the case against Barry in April 2022 at which time 11th Judicial District Attorney, Linda Stanley, filed the motion to dismiss without prejudice. That selection means that prosecutors could once again seek to file charges in connection with Suzanne's case after the autopsy confirmed she was sedated and murdered. A tranquilizer gun and accessories were found in the couple's home before his arrest but Barry, an avid hunter, maintained his innocence while his daughters also stood by him throughout his court battle. An attorney for Barry and his two adult daughters said his dart gun to tranquilize wildlife was not working when his wife vanished, and that he did not possess the tranquilizer that's used in the darts in a statement released on Monday. Attorney Iris Aton told the Associated Press that evidence suggests Suzanne was abducted, drugged, and killed by someone else. The Morphews have prayed the authorities would remove their blinders and not only find Suzanne, but find the suspect responsible for her disappearance and murder, Aton's firm said.